everyone. We are back with Glenn Velvet Reviews today. And we got another item for the, well, this is going to be for the 40 gallon breeder. So this will be a 40 gallon breeder update as well. I got this for the 40 gallon breeder, not for the 60 gallon um, uh, breeder or whatever. Uh, just because as you could tell, I don't have this, you know, fully set up yet. Everything is a work in progress. If you've seen my videos, I have a project you know like every minute going on and different projects going on i do everything so it's like you know it's a lot of work so but it's cool it's what i do it's what i like to do but anyway here's the instructions that they give you right here so you guys can pause that if you lose your instructions like i always do this is supposed to be a coral holder it was the cheapest one that was the nicest all right, so uh, I got the measuring instruments that I like to, you know, put out for you guys in all my videos so you guys can scale everything and see, you know, how big things are. I like to put numbers uh, as a base for, you know, the stuff that we review over here. Uh, so this is what I got. This was $22.99. The other ones were $29.99. And then I think eShops or someone has one, maybe Fiji Cube. One of them have one and it's like $39.99. I think it's 40 bucks. So it's a pretty much double this. This also comes with plugs, which is really cool. I'm happy about that. So you can, uh, you know, your, this is coral bases. You just put your coral on there, you can glue it. And then you could stick each one of the plugs in there and put it up somewhere. That's pretty much what that is for. Um, but that's it, that's in the box. All right, uh, this is the size of it guys. So you guys can see, all right, there we go. I mean, uh, they say it's like three by eight, but I mean, this is what it really is, okay? And then we'll go this way. And that's like the, you know, the back of it over there, okay? And that's kind of what's up. And that's what it looks like. Now, these are the magnets right here. Now, um, I saw some, some people said the reviews, this is not as strong as the eShops one, but I wouldn't expect that for $40, right? So what they said was, is that, this is good for um, a 40 gallon breeder. I think this will work fine for a 60 gallon breeder as well. But when you get to a 75 gallon, a 90 gallon, a 125 gallon, uh, the glass is really thick and you're gonna have a problem with putting this on. You're gonna have to get the more expensive one if you have thicker glass. It's just the way it is, right? Um, but these are the size of them. These are one inch, okay, like that. And I mean, we're gonna show you what's up of, you know, what they look like on the outside of my 60. So these are not rubber nice either, okay? Probably the more expensive ones are rubber coated, so you won't hear, you won't hear that noise when it, when it clips, like it sounds like the glass is gonna break. I mean, the magnet seems very strong, uh, but from what, I, from what I saw, it's, you know, like, and it probably it is what it is. But this is a 60 gallon breeder. All right, guys, you know I like to put numbers and everything, so let's see what's up here. I'm gonna pull this up and we're gonna see how many pounds it takes by the time this thing, you know, goes up. Ready? So it's 0.8, guys. It's not a pound. It's not even a pound. I'm getting 0.8 on a bend right here before it's going to just pop off. Okay, guys? So now you know, at least we know the weight, you know what I mean, of what's going on here. Okay? So I tied that on, and I just wanted to see the pressure of when it's going to come off. Okay, guys? And we are looking at... Wow, look, I'm getting up to two pounds, guys. This is on the 60 gallon breeder. On a smaller tank, you're probably gonna be able to have more weight on here, okay? But if you go with a, a larger tank, then you know, you're gonna have less than two pounds. But I'm pulling on this a good amount, and I'm at two pounds. All right, guys, so this can hold, if you guys saw, I wanted to put some numbers on there, this can hold about 1.8 pounds of weight and pressure, you know, before it's gonna fall off. These are just ceramic plugs, okay? And see, they just, they can, they kind of squeeze in here. You're going to have to really, uh, just to see this, you're going to have to like, you know, screw them in here. That's all you're going to get, um, in there. And then the other ones, you know, they'll fit right in, but these smaller ones, guys, they are going to stick up a little bit, which might be a good thing for you because it'll help separate. I don't know, but just to let you know that these ones, they won't just drop in and they don't have, they're all standard size. So. So originally I didn't, uh, originally I did not get this specifically for corals. I got this for my shrimp. I have a cleaner shrimp. If you see my 40 gallon breeder, uh, I have a cleaner shrimp now. And um, the other ones beat him up. He's the weakest shrimp out of the three. I have a coral banded and I have um, a fire shrimp. 
and the fire shrimp and the coral bandit always stay on the bottom they kind of chill uh and you know they don't hang out but you know they don't really do like you know bother each other so much but the cleaner shrimp everybody it bullies him and beats him up so he's always on the top of the tank hanging out you know by himself and he's never really on the bottom you know doing anything so i got this for him to put on the tank because he's always hanging out on on whatever is available for him to hang out on um so i pretty much got him his own little apartment complex uh for the fish tank that now he's going to be able to chill on here and enjoy um and i hope he does because for 20 something bucks it better be but that's it for Glen Velvet Reviews on a small review of the coral holder that I did get for the fish tank. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. I would love to know. Also, subscribe to my channel. Join me on my review adventures as I try to put up stuff to help out the community. Just like I get help from the community, right? And if you can, unless you dislike me for any reason, you could support the channel by clicking on the affiliate links below. Somehow, someway, times a million, it equals up to something. But from what I saw, there are other ways to support the channel on YouTube. And if you do decide to support the channel, please make sure you check back. See that I'm putting that support back into it. See that I'm getting more stuff to review, doing updates on the items as they break so we know we're getting a good value. And also helping my subscribers out with any questions that they have on the products that I did, did already review. All right, so everybody enjoy. Be safe. Glenn Belt Reviews is out. Bye-bye everybody.